Welcome back. I'm Calvin Statue Fanatic here with another really cool fig pen review. What you see here is Into the Spider Verse, that logo here. Inside of this box, you have some of the coolest fig pens I've seen to date. I'm sure there are others out there that are pretty cool, but I happen to like these. And what's interesting about these, this isn't the first time they've been released because these were, these were also released at New York Comic Con uh, earlier this year. But we're going to take at this, we're going to take a look at these that were released here recently in this collector edition. So let's get this box open so you can see what they look like inside. When you open the box, what you get is Spider-Man Noir, you get Spider-Gwen, Miles Morales, Peter Parker, and Spider-Ham. And up at the top, in the XL size, you have Penny Parker and you have Kingpin on the right. But in the middle, you also have one of Figpin's um, exclusive logo pen. This one happens to have a Spider-Gwen uh, theme to it in terms of the color and the motif there. So I know it's hard to see this in this box. I just wanted to see, show you how this was set up. But what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna take them out of the box and get them set up so you can see what they actually look like. So this is what they look like out of that big box and all of that. Um, I wanna give you an example of the size of these real quick because right now they're inside of the acrylic museum type style case that they come in and I'll take those out. I've done this on other videos so you can check that out. But inside the case, you're looking at about five inches for the um, smaller versions of them and you're looking at about nine inches for the version of them that are what they call the XL, the larger versions of the fig pens. So as you can see, these look really, really cool. Kind of zoom in here and give you an idea what they look like inside of the case. Spider-Man Noir, Spider-Gwen, Miles Morales, Peter Parker, and Spider-Ham. And then up here you have Penny Parker, and Kingpin. Now, like I said, these were actually released at New York Comic Con uh, this earlier this year, and I have that set as well, so I'll probably show that at the end to show you what they look like. They're pretty much the same fig pens, except this set comes with the two larger fig pens that are not in the original New York Comic Con uh, packet. So that's what's cool about these. And then the actual smaller pens themselves actually has a slightly different uh, color hue to them than the original one. And the backing of these are different because on the backing of each of these, it actually has the name of the character on the back. And on the original ones that were from New York Comic Con, they only had Spider-Man on each of the ones on the back of it. So, and then of course you have the uh, Spider-Gwen theme logo that says fig pen. These things are really collectible too. The fig pen logos, they have a number of them out. Like right now on their website, if you order anything, I think $25 or more, you get the Christmas theme fig pen logo. So let's get these out of the box and see what they look like out of the box. And so before we do that, let's turn them around to give you an idea of what's on the back of them. Each of these are uh, limited to 1500. And again, you can take these and put them in the app and see what your score is gonna be for each of them. Like I've talked about in some of the other Figpin videos and how Figpin has made these so cool to collect. I love the idea that as the uh, more things get unlocked on the app, you'll be able to use your score and your power to be able to buy very ultra limited Figpins that you can only get through being a part of this whole Figpin community. So let's just get them out of the box completely. So this is what they look like mostly out of the packaging. If you can see Penny Parker and Kingpin, they're completely out of the packaging uh, to give you an idea of the size of these guys here um, out of the packaging. Kingpin is right at five inches tall and Penny Parker is like five and a half inches, six inches, five and a half inches tall, five and three quarters. But anyway, that's what they look like out of the packaging. I haven't completely, these guys in the bottom they're out of the packaging but i want to show you what they look like display without the acrylic uh, case around them they don't have any acrylic case they just have their backings like i have shown in other videos these backings come off and you can kind of see like this says spider-man noir uh, 316 and uh, has a really cool picture of him on the back of it and then here you can uh, display them like that 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what they look like without any packaging. And what I really like about this, this is like so many dis ways to display them. Like this, if you wanted to, you can even keep them in the packaging because you can see everything while they're still in the packaging. But if you're limited on space and you want to like maybe put them on your desk or something like that, you can do that as well. This so. is what they look like completely out of the packaging, just using their um, stands on the back to stand them up. To give you an idea because it's hard to see here probably with them standing that way you can see the back of them and how they stand up there each of them have their own serial number on the back of them making them very unique the app kind of shows their production number and everything so we'll zoom in here take a look at some of the detail on some of them as you can see the shading on spider-man noir looks really awesome and then loving the color on spider-gwen and Miles, very cool pose. And then Peter Parker. And then we have Spider-Ham. And as we go up to the larger ones, Kingpin, really cool fake pen there. And it's really, really heavy. Um, and then Penny Parker, which is pretty awesome. I zoom in here with her. You can see that, there you go. Just the coloring and the shading in these are really cool. And you can even see the digital, the, uh, the label that's on it. I tried to zoom in and read that. I can't really make out what it says, but pretty cool. And then if we look all the way down, you can see the lo pen logo, fig pen with the uh, Spider Gwen. And with my hand, you can kind of see how small it actually is. And I said earlier that this was a kind of a second release because they were released at New York Comic Con. So I'm gonna show you, I'm not gonna take them all out, but I'll show you the casing that these are in. That were, and these here were released at New York Comic Con. Same figures and everything, just colored, just a slightly difference in color. It appears to me that they are anyway. And then this one came with the Miles Morales uh, pen logo. You can see that. Really cool. So I have both of them. I had to get the other ones because they have the, um, they have King Pen and Penny Parker, which I wish this was the New York Comic Con exclusive one. These are limited to 1500 and I think the Comic Con ones were um, also limited to 1500 You can see that on the back of them. And that is all I have for another fig pen review. I am loving these guys. I've been collecting them for a while. So now I, I thought I'd just start showing you guys some of the pens that I have. I have many more pens that I'm going to show you, but I just got these in and I just had to show you these guys because they are freaking amazing. Well, remember to always collect what you like and not the hype. And until next time, peace.